live events are back. And that means with promo code CHAIL, you can get $20 off tickets with our friends at SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the easiest way to buy live event tickets. They put tickets from all over the web in one place just for you. Use their ticketing app to buy tickets for MMA events, concerts, baseball, basketball, football, festivals. If it's a live event, you'll find tickets on SeatGeek. They make buying tickets super simple. I've got the app on my phone. And it is by far the easiest way to purchase tickets. Want to go to the UFC fan experience and see Adesanya fight live in Las Vegas? Guys, look no further. SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So look for the green dots. Green means good deal. Red means bad. It's that easy. Save $20 off your first purchase with promo code CHAIL. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Bobby Green went on with his own coach, and it was a great interview. And by the way, Bobby Green's coach is this fascinating guy. I don't want to spoil that for you. I, I trust most of you listen to Joe Rogan. I don't want to ruin this bit, but Bobby Green talked about Peter Yan and Fitzayev specifically, said that both of these guys use steroids, said that they go to Thailand and they can buy it right over the counter. And that Usada, they never, they always get away with it because Usada is just that. It's the United States anti-doping agency. They don't go there and they don't catch them. Now, I'm close enough and don't think that you have to correct me because I'm not looking to make an overarching point here anyway. I'm just having a discussion. That's a fascinating statement. To name a UFC champion and another UFC hammer and associate them specifically to steroids and even say more over where they got them. And the fact that they're able to get through this because USADA is U.S. That they don't go into other countries. So I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. And I go, okay, here, let, let me just disprove that. Let me disprove what Bobby Green is saying by simply coming up with somebody who tested hot abroad. That's nearly with the resources of the top of my head. And I'm stuck. I don't have that person. Now, I could also disprove Bobby's statement. If I could just tell you a person who, while abroad, was tested. If I could just come up with somebody who was tested, I will have disproved it. I can't do that either. But my problem, I don't ever know when anybody's tested. I don't know if somebody was tested today right next to me. The only time I hear that somebody's tested is if somebody was tested hot. Or if they make the foolish PR move of putting on the USADA jacket, letting them get their picture taken, acting like they're getting patted on the back when really it's they're, they're getting told to the world, we think you're dirty and we're still coming. It's one of these very weird things. I don't think that the statement's true. I don't think because USADA, and yes, the U.S. does stand for United States, I don't think because they're headquartered here that it precludes them from testing people abroad. I don't think that's true. And I've got another big problem with this statement. Now, I'm not saying that Bobby Green's wrong. Chael's eye test will tell you 100% of the time, and there is no part of me that's telling you that what Bobby said is wrong. There's only a few things that work, right? And there's a number of performance enhancers that will do their job in terms of make you bigger, faster, stronger. But there's only a couple of things that you, when I say that will work, there are places in the country you can go right in over the counter. You can grab them. That's true. But if you ingest that stuff, it's going to stay in your system for a period of time. You would have to have very good products, of which I could limit down to about three, but you would also know how, how to take them. And believe me, when it, by reading the bottle, is not going to do it. So even if you procured it and consumed it, while somewhere else, you've got to make sure that that clears your system before you get back. And that's just in the vein that the statement that Bobby made is even accurate that USADA can't and or does not leave the country, which I don't think is true. I just can't prove it. I just can't cite for you an example off the top of my head, but I don't think it's right. I want to say that I've heard of times, one of my favorites ever, one of my favorite dodging of the system that was right there in front of everybody's eyes took place in a foreign country. So I don't think that that's accurate. And I had somebody suggest to me, well, couldn't they work, couldn't USADA work with a counterpart? If they were in Thailand, couldn't they work with the Thailand anti-association? And No, no, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Chain of command is of the utmost importance. Who went and collected that sample 
where that sample sat the entire time that it re was returned to the United States of America and tested at either the lab on the campus of UCLA or in Salt Lake City would be paramount to a defense if somebody was to push back. Now, I just, I want to go back to Bobby's statement. That is very interesting. He outed a UFC champion and a former opponent. Do we chalk this up to sour grapes? I mean, those, those are slanderous statements. He's citing where and how they got them. I'll just share with you, it's not enough. That's rumor. It's a rumor. I don't know what all of the rules are in Thailand. I know that Mexico is, is very close to that. I know a number of the guys that go across the border, sometimes they get their hand on real stuff, and some, some of the times they do not. And that's even at a pharmacy window. That's even paying full rate and getting the box that looks like it's shipped up in professional. Sometimes that stuff is real and sometimes it's not. But generally, when you go through that process, I mean, you've got to be extremely careful. Even if you were to get your hands on what I'll call the good stuff, even if you were to get your hands on the good stuff to make sure that that was not tainted and more overly to make sure that you took that in a fashion that got out of your system before you got in an airplane and before you went somewhere else, where for sure the United States Anti-Doping Agency does exist, particularly if you're under the scope and the umbrella of that of which a champion would have to go through. It's a big claim. It's interesting. It got my attention. I can't co-sign it. I can't say that that's, that's accurate. There are different countries where you can, over the country, get things that here within America, you would need a prescription for. And those are not just performance enhancing. They're performance enhancing and otherwise. But to know what it is, to know that it's safe, to know how to take it and make sure that it's going to clear your system, there's a lot to that. I'm not, I'm not giving an answer on this. I'm more asking a question. Is there any accuracy? to the statement that the United States Anti-Doping Agency only operates within America. I don't think so. But, but for, in order for me to disprove that instantly to you without further research, I would just have to be able to recall a name of somebody that was hot due to that agency that was abroad. I can't do that either. Not off the top of my head. I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet the statement is not correct. But I can't off the top of my head disprove it. Do you have an example? Can you smarten me up? 